Hello everyone, thank you for joining us today and welcome to the Cool Experience. But before we start, let me recognize our industry and all of you connected around the phone for a great work during done over the last few months in ensuring the supply of food and, med and medicines even during the harshest times of the pandemic. 2020 was also a challenging year for us, the suppliers of equipment to, re to the refrigeration industry. The trailer segment improved towards the back end of last year, and 2021 is off for a good start. However, this year we face different challenges. The availability of components due to the supply chain constraints and very big price increases from raw materials. However, despite all these challenges, our industry remains strong. In fact, we could argue the cold chain has never been more relevant as it ensures the delivery of fresh food and vaccines that are so desperately needed in these times. Even in countries where the cold chain is only emerging, like China, we saw last year an acceleration of the implementation of the cold chain. And we believe this acceleration will be there in 2021 and beyond. So cold chain, cold chain expansion represents a big opportunity for all of us. However, the industry as we've known it up to now will be different in the future. A strong sustainability focus and big data utilization will change the way we work. More than 8,000 mayors have engaged in a covenant for energy and climate. Uh, low emission zones or zero emission zones, low noise regulations are being put in place. The European Commission is targeting 30% CO2 reduction by 2030. And all, the, all these regulations are making our industry moving away from fossil fuels into alternative technologies like electricity or eventually in the future hydrogen. Big data utilization is going to improve the efficiency and the competitiveness of our businesses. It will also help improve customer service. I firmly believe that early adopters of, this, of these new technologies will be able to build a competitive advantage for their businesses for the years to come. So today, we will share with you our latest innovations that should help you transition into these new technologies. Carrier uh, extensive product, product range covers several solutions. Solutions that can be powered with different energy sources like diesel, biodiesel, compressed natural gas or electricity. However, our latest innovation, the Vector Equal, the first fully autonomous trailer, electric trailer refrigeration unit is a breakthrough product that I'm convinced will accelerate the transition of our industry into more sustainable solutions. Vector Equal generates no emissions, is quiet, and it can cool down during very long journeys without the need to be recharged. This product represents a big opportunity for our industry to lead the path to sustainability. Regarding big data, Carrier has announced very recently a strategic agreement with Amazon Web Services, the leader in cloud storage and data management. Our new telematic solutions, Link Fleet, that has been launched very recently, will be available standard fit for all the units leaving our factory in the coming weeks. I wish you a good webinar and I'll come back at the end of it for the closing words. Thank you.
Hi everyone, and thank you for joining today. I am Natalie Piontino, Digital Communication Associate at Carrier Transit Gold. During this special event, we will be exploring two different topics. For the first part, we will be looking at Carrier new electrical solutions, and then we will be diving into Carrier Transit Gold's newest digital solutions. Now, to start off the first stage of this event, um, as Victor said, we've seen a lot of transformational changes in our industry. And our goal at Carrier Transit Gold is to always meet our customers' needs, especially regarding sustainability. Because we truly believe that sustainability is the way forward for our industry and for the future. By developing um, electrical solutions, we are truly demonstrating our commitment to bringing electrical power to the cold chain. Now, to introduce the subject, I would like to be introducing my colleague, Over Koi, Research and, De and Development Director at Carrier Transit Gold, who's played an integral role in developing the fully autonomous all-electric trailer system, the Vector Equal. Hi, Over. Hi, Natalie. And thank you, Natalie. I'm very pleased to be here and I'm thrilled to introduce you all to the Factor eCool, a genuine first for our industry, representing a new era in refrigerated trailer technology. And the most important product Carrier Transicold has launched for a generation. It is my job here today to take you through the development of this groundbreaking technology. The Vector eCool is the latest electrical solution in a journey that began many decades ago with the development of the e-drive, as in all-electric drive. First used in shipping containers, we mounted with carrier units. The e-drive was then adapted for the road more than 20 years ago, sitting at the heart of our factor trailer systems. E-drive allows us to remove all mechanical transmissions found in traditional belt-driven systems, converting engine power direct, directly into electricity, which is then to drive the compressor and ventilators in the refrigeration system. To fully exploit the advantages of e-drive, we had to develop a full hermetic scroll compressor and economizer for our factor trailer units, creating a closed refrigeration system capable of operating ultra-efficient on both diesel and electric power. In fact, because we don't have to convert back electric energy into mechanical drive when hooked up to the grid, our flagship unit, the Vector HE19, retains up to 40% more capacity over competitor products when hooked up to the grid. Or, indeed, when hooked up and powered by a battery, because those are the same infrastructures. This electric flexibility of full capacity and high efficiency on electric of the latest vector units was key to unlocking the full potential of the carrier vector eCool, something I've been personally been working on for many years. Now we're able to provide a genuine zero emission, fully autonomous trailer system that will move, that will help move the industry forward into a more sustainable future. Right, and this is very good news. Uh, we're also glad to announce that the last and most recent award that the Vector Equal has picked up is the Efficiency and Innovation in Refrigerated Transportation Award by the Spanish newspaper La Razón. But now, you might wonder, so how does the system actually work? And to answer this question and many others, let's bring in Yu Chen, Director of Engineering at Carrier Transit Gold, who will now dive into the technical sides of the Vector Equal. Thank you, Natalie. Hello, everyone from Syracuse, New York. I am Yu Chen, the Executive Director of Engineering at Carrier Transit Gold International Truck and Trailer. And today, I'm going to present to you the new Vector eCool. 
The Vector EQ is a completely new approach to trailer refrigeration that can future-proof your fleet to meet ever-tightening emission regulations without making any changes to how you operate today. The special benefit of the Vector EQ is that it uses our existing ultra-efficient Vector refrigeration unit. It gives you the same level of performance and reliability, just without diesel engine and no emissions. We have developed the new and intelligent energy recovery and storage system, which converts kinetic energy generated by the trailer axle and the brake into electricity and it continuously charges the battery pack that powers the vector refrigeration system. This creates a fully autonomous system that is able to meet all the refrigeration requirements of any customer's applications with a clean energy. There's no direct carbon dioxide and particulate emissions. When you plug into the grid power at night, the battery can reach full charge in two hours. Depending on the trailer operation profile, a fully charged battery can operate the refrigeration system up to six hours. This duration will increase as we continue to develop our dedicated power management software. The best part about the Vector EQ is during transportation, the battery is continuously being charged thanks to the trailer axle. The operation of the refrigeration unit is the same as today. No need to stop and charge. The battery always has enough power to keep you running. Being fully electric, there are no noxious gas, particulate matter, or carbon dioxide emissions created by the ecosystem. It is designed to help our customers to operate in an urban environment, allowing them to meet all current regulations across Europe. Again, without changing anything about how they operate today. Without the engine, the system is also extremely quiet operating below 60 dB and therefore being peak compliant. We truly believe Eco is the ultimate urban trailer solution, offering our customers a way to exceed their own sustainability targets, as well as those set by local government. Carrier understands that not everybody is ready to move away from traditional power sources yet. That's why we're still working tirelessly to reduce the fuel consumption and related emissions of our traditional truck and trailer systems. We have already discussed the sustainability benefits of the Vector 1819 and Carrier Transico also offers a natural gas powered supra system for truck which greatly reduces emissions. Coming back to electrical solutions, it will be remiss of me not to mention the other solutions we can offer to our customers. The Vector EQ is designed for trailers. For rigid trucks, we also have powerful engineless options. The Iceland and Siberia refrigeration systems, both of them are fully electrical. These systems can be powered from the vehicle's ultra-clean Euro 6 diesel engine through our EcoDrive power module, a hydraulic pump connected the truck engine's power takeoff, the PTO. It generates the electricity required to drive the electrical refrigeration system. Taking things to the next stage for truck, we have now developed a new electrical power inverter, which is capable of harnessing any forms of power from the vehicle. 
whether if it's electrical battery or hydrogen fuel cells, we can now use that power to drive our refrigeration systems. For light commercial vehicles, we have new CHE range models that can compatible with electrical vans. To further advance and accelerate our commitment to electrical solutions, we have also developed a new strategic partnership with the Portuguese battery technology company Advolt. Combined with Advolt, Carrier Transico is able to offer sustainable electric options for every vehicle type, from small vans to heavy trucks and trailers. Thank you, Yu Chen. So, as Yu Chen highlighted, uh, developing uh, this innovation truly demonstrates our commitment to providing genuine electrical solutions to our customers, no matter the type of application they require. But now I'd like to go back to you, Eva, to discuss a little bit more about the benefits of these innovations for our customers. Okay, Natalie, thank you. As Yu Chen just mentioned, um, I want to highlight that the autonomy of the e-cool trailer is not limited to the autonomy of the battery. The minute you will be on the road, the battery can be recharged again, preferably when driving downhill. At Carrier Transicold, we're committed to helping you meet your sustainability goals without having a negative impact on your daily business. We want to work with you to deliver efficient, quiet, cost-effective and sustainable refrigeration solutions. But don't just take our word for it. We thought we would ask some customers already using the Vector eCool and our other alternative energy options to provide some valuable feedback. Mein Name ist Palma Daniel, ich bin Leiter Transportlogistik von der Migros Ostschweiz. In meinem Verantwortungsbereich gehört der Transport, der Verlad von den LKW, der Werkverkehr, das ganze Bahngeschäft von der Migros Ostschweiz und auch die Entsorgung. Die Stabilität des Prozesses ist uns sehr wichtig in der Migros Ostschweiz. Wir haben sehr kritische Produkte, die wir führen und mit dem müssen wir sicherstellen, dass auch die Kühlung immer bei allen Schritten gut funktioniert. Hier im Hintergrund sehen Sie den ersten serienmäßigen Wasserstofflastwagen der Welt. Und es war tatsächlich so, dass wir haben einen halben Tag lang haben wir wirklich den ersten Wasserstofflastwagen in der Schweiz gehabt, wo wir gefahren haben. Nachher sind weitere Fahrzeuge geliefert worden. Die Herausforderung für das Fahrzeug ist nicht unbedingt jetzt der Wasserstoff als Antrieb, sondern auch diese Geräte brauchen das Kühlgerät. Wir haben uns damals wieder für Carrier entschieden. Carrier-Geräte, aber jetzt natürlich nicht mehr mit Dieselantrieb von einem Wasserstofflastwagen. Der Lastwagen fährt elektrisch. Und darum haben wir entschieden, dass wir ein elektrisches Kühlgerät darauf bauen. Der Vorteil des elektrischen Kühlgerät ist klar, äh, ist äh, das Leislige und das Ökologische. Aber was uns am Anfang vielleicht ein bisschen äh, herausgefordert hat, ist, heute man auch wieder Prozesssicherheit herkriegen. Wenn der Lastwagen nämlich nicht fährt, kann dann das Kühlgerät dann nach wie vor weiter funktionieren. Das haben wir erreicht, weil so ein Lastwagen natürlich eine grosse Batterie hat, wo man daraus Energie schöpft. Und dort haben wir dann entsprechend können das Kölkgerät anhängen. Für uns ist natürlich auch wichtig, wie die Partnerschaft ist. Und für einen Vorteil, den wir haben mit Kerner zusammen, ist, dass man natürlich direkt neben unserer Firma einen Stützpunkt hat, wo ein Service gemacht werden kann. Ich bin Dale Brocker, ich bin Geschäftsführer, Eigentümer. Wir sind im Lebensmittelbereich unterwegs. Also wir finden, unsere Idee ist ja eigentlich, dass wir koppeln uns ein bisschen an die, an die LKW-Herstellers-Technologie. Sie sind ganz weit vorne. Und äh, so von der Philosophie, dass wir LKW und Kühlgerät betreiben können mit nur einer äh, Maschine, äh, macht irgendwie Sinn. Und wir haben unsere Flotte sowieso ge äh, gewechselt, so dass wir primär LNG-Fahrzeuge haben, das haben wir vor zwei Jahren gemacht und 
Ja, da glauben wir, da, glaube ich, da sind wir schon ganz gut unterwegs. Also unsere Kühlgeräte müssen natürlich äh, stabil und effizient sein, aber die letzte Zeit sind äh, Nachhaltigkeit auch sehr wichtig für uns. Und äh, ja, deswegen haben wir euch, uns für euer neues Modell entschieden, EcoDrive, äh, und wir sind sehr gespannt, äh, wie es funktionieren wird in Praxis. My name is Twan Heetkamp, owner of TST New Cool in Venlo, the Netherlands. Our main activity is renting and leasing from emission-free reefer trailers. As participant in the development from the early start, I am very happy with the newest generation. It is reliable, complete and built in in a very nice way. In the meanwhile, it is a proven technology. The end users which rent the new cool trailers with the Carrier eCool system are very diverse customers. Most are active in the distribution, city distribution, but also in regional distribution and some even on long haul. But one thing they have in common, they want to stop pollution. Uh, we believe totally in electrification of reefers for the future, simply because it can be done the total cost of ownership are less and it's very good for the environment. The correct technique for sustainable and quiet distribution that we maintain during transport the quality of fresh fruit, vegetables and fruits. Invest in uh, full electric and hybrid vehicles and of course they need also an angelus zero emission refrigerator equipment. At Jumbo, we have working with Carrier Transicold for more than 40 years. We recently equipped two Scania Hybrid Track uh, Richards with uh, Carrier Cyber Twin Cool units with Hydro Electric Power Units. Je suis Yannick Renaud, directeur technique du groupe de Lanchy et nous sommes un prestataire de transport et de logistique spécialisé dans les produits de la mer et les produits frais depuis plus de 50 ans. Notre principale exigence est de disposer d'un produit qui soit fiable, performant, avec un réseau de services après-vente disponible. Nous avons choisi d'équiper un véhicule d'une chaîne de froid qui soit durable, performante, sans émissions, pour livrer les centres-villes et les zones à faible émission. Nous avons récemment équipé un Renault Trux électrique d'un groupe Iceland 8. Les principaux avantages de l'Iceland 8 sont la réduction des émissions sonores, la réduction de la consommation puisque nous n'utilisons plus de carburant fossile, la performance, les coûts de maintenance et, et l'efficacité globale du système. Hearing these customers talk about our new products always make me proud to be part of the carrier team. It is always great to hear directly from our customers, especially when they highlight how our electrical solutions are helping them to meet lower fleet emissions, operate more quietly in their towns and cities, and they are able to meet the ever-tightening regulations. And with decades of electrical experience under our belt already, you can count on carrier to continue providing unrivaled worldwide after-sales maintenance support as our products evolve into electricity. You are absolutely right. And thank you for taking part today, Eva. Uh, this is an electric journey we want to take side by side with our customers, and we are definitely ready to go today. Now, your great point about the after-sales support ties in perfectly with the next stage of the cool experience in which we will look at how digitalization of service offering is evolving. And now, to dive into the digital solutions, I am happy to be on set with my colleague Emmanuel Langevin, Service Director at Carrier Transicold. Hi, Emmanuel. Hi, Nathalie. 
Hello everyone and thank you for joining today. As highlighted by Victor, big data will reshape our industry in the years to come and it is an opportunity for all of us. Connectivity within the cold chain is essential to help our customer make faster data-driven decisions that will deliver a healthier, safer and more sustainable cold chain. Strong data capabilities will be more and more necessary and will considerably help our customer and all of us optimizing the cold chain. Let's imagine that the cold chain for road transport can be connected to help reduce food loss, carbon footprint and improve operation efficiency. This is Link's fleet. Let's start first with some questions. Can you remotely manage the proper set point related to the cargo you are transporting? Can you improve your fleet uptime and total cost of ownership by using Prognostic? Can you optimize your cold chain operations? Link's fleet is the answer and will be able to offer more and more capabilities, such as remotely controlling the refrigeration unit, preventing breakdowns, because they will be anticipated. To be able to meet these challenges, our customer needs a connected cold chain solution. Lynx Fleet is the connected cold chain solution for Carrier Transit Cold, with the ultimate objective to offer visibility on the full journey of fleets and reduce cost to operate their refrigeration equipment. All those equations cannot be resolved without a solid data-driven management system, such as links that make it very powerful system. Right. Now, you said a lot about the system, but can you tell us a bit more about the platform and the reasons why it's so powerful? Oh, of course, Nathalie. Uh, as you know, probably, Carrier, Glo Carrier Global has announced a multi-year agreement with Amazon Web Service to co-develop a connected cold chain solution leveraging machine learning technology and IoT services to offer increased visibility and actionable intelligence. As you know, AWS is a data cloud leader, which offers opportunity to better process terabytes of data and to develop services to our customer that we cannot even think of at the moment. Our refrigeration unit will be standard fitted in our factories with telematics devices that will enable us to offer a unique opportunity to our customer to access key data to, for their operations. Collecting huge amount of data is the first mandatory step, which we expect to be possible for us, but mid-year, when all our new trucks and trailer units will be equipped in standard fit. Of course, we can also upgrade our existing units with retrofit kits to get the food benefits of Link's Fleet. Right, so Link's Fleet definitely is a step change in connectivity, and it will benefit everyone from the growers and manufacturers right through the supply chain until temperature-sensitive goods reach our pharmacies, our hospitals, and our supermarkets. Yeah. Um, Link's, Link's fleet is also part of Link's Carrier Global Offer. And in order to bring this to life, here's a short video about Link's uh, Global Offer that includes all entities of Carrier Refrigeration.
As you have seen, Linksfleet will be able to connect the different assets that are present across the cold chain. Refer containers, truck and trailers, refrigerated warehouses, but also temperature monitoring devices for the first time. It will give us the opportunity to have a complete visibility of the cold chain. And Carrier is the only refrigeration manufacturer who has this extended capability. Connect the different devices and developing a sustainable cold chain solution is one of our main objectives. Links contribute in this. As shown on the video, one third of the produce of the food produced in the world is lost each year. This is where Links has a key role to play. In conjunction with the work we are doing by developing energy efficient unit at the Carrier Ecool, gaining in visibility means being able to improve goods delivery journeys. Right, so there's no doubt that Links Fleet truly is a powerful platform. Um, but Emmanuel, can you tell us a bit more about what it can offer road transport companies in particular and what it can offer our customers? Of course. Uh, Linksfleet can do much better. Linksfleet will be able to suggest proactive maintenance on our refrigeration unit to maximize uptime and unexpected repairs. Fleet managers and drivers will be alerted by a potential issue before it happens, real time, on his mobile app, and, with, on his mobile app and will be routed to the closest Carrier Transit Call service point. We will be able to start cool down when the unit is plugged into the grid without manual intervention, helping to reduce fuel cost, carbon footprint, but also labor cost. Advanced report capabilities will be, will help fleet owners to apply best practices, change behaviors and have hard saving on their PNL. Right. And we also want to highlight the fact that customers will be able to feed data into their own telematics. And this is part of our commitment to bringing more visibility and more intelligence across the cold chain. Ah, this is a very valid pod, uh, Natalie. All this feature will be, able, will, be able, will be available through our Linkslit user interface, but we have also designed Linkslit natively with open APIs. Data can also be picked up and fed into a customer-owned transport management system. I have just shared with you some of the highlights, but we'll be making full detail available very soon. Our vision is to enable entire industry to benefit from digital transformation through increased efficiency, reduced cost, and greater dependability. We are all really excited about the, the digital journey we are on. Thank you very much for your attention. And I let Nathalie for the next chapter. Thank you for joining today, Emmanuel. And thank you for guiding us so comprehensively through the digital solutions. Thank you, everyone, for joining the Cool Experience digital event today. Uh, we really hope that you enjoyed this moment with us. If you are looking for more information regarding our new electrical or digital solutions that we've presented today, including our new vector ecosystem, and the new Links Fleet offer. You will be able to find more information on our website, or you could also contact your local Carrier Transit Call team, for which you will be able to find the contact information on our website as well. Replays of this event will also be available within the next few days. And now, as we draw back towards the end of the cool experience, I'd like to hand it back to Victor for his closing words. Hi, everybody. I hope you found this webinar interesting. We've set ourselves ambitious goals for the sustainability and efficiency of the cold chain through the development of new fully electric products and digital solutions. And we will continue to do so to ensure you can have a smooth transition into the new era. With this, I'd like to thank you for joining us today. And I very much hope to see you physically very soon in our next industry event. Thanks.
for the efficiency of the cold chain that will distribute vaccines very quickly. Thank you.